Welcome to the Playstyle platform. I'm Luke and in this video we'll walk together through the basics of our customizer. Playstyle is a tool that gives you full control over almost every aspect of your website and we prepared educational videos that will take you from beginner to absolute pro. You can gain access to them through our platform or you can find them on our YouTube channel. Remember that if you need any help while building the website of your dreams, our support crew is always at your service. So feel free to reach out to us. The first thing I highly recommend you to do after logging in for the first time is request an IDX. This process will take you a minute, but because your website will need an approved IDX, it's best to do this straight away. Let's build our first website. From the dashboard, click create a new site button and pick a template from our library. Our designs are constantly updated, so feel free to check them and see which one fits your style. Of course, you can change the design at later stages, so don't worry, you won't have to start over again. I highly recommend choosing the option of filling with demo content. It's nice to see your website has some text and you don't have to start from scratch. Check the preview on different devices and when you find your pick, press select and go to the next step. After filling up basic contact information that will be displayed on your homepage, like email address and contact number, you can customize the website itself. This is the customizer. On the right, you can see your website preview and on the left is your navigation menu. Under each of these tabs, there are plenty of options, but you don't need to browse them every time you want to make a change. You can access the part you want to edit by clicking the quick access button located next to each section on the page. As you can see, your detail information that you filled during template selection process are presented at the very top. They are also displayed in the About section of the page. You can change the layout of the information presented or edit it with a few clicks. Now, let's talk about some basics that should be done before you launch your website and make it public. Let's start with colors. Brokers and agents work with a brand book that defines the color scheme and fonts. Head to the design options and select colors. Pick your own primary and secondary colors. Our designers prepared over 70 options of the color scheme, as well as palettes based on some of the biggest realtors in the US. All changes to the page are instantly visible in the preview window. Now let's set a font. Go back to the design options and select fonts. You can see the preview of the font in the paragraph as well as the buttons. Pick one, adjust its size and that's all. The last pieces are logo and favicon. Open the Logos tab. You can pick between text logo or uploading a file. In this case, I will upload a logo file for navigation and footer. Adjust the heights and that's it. To set up your own favicon, you need to step back to the General Options tab and head to General Informations. Here, you can set the favicon from the file. OK, now our website is starting to take shape. Before we wrap it up, let's talk about pages, modules and how to add them. If you take a look at your homepage, you will see on the left panel the list of all modules applied for this page. By dragging and dropping them, you can change their order, add new modules with the plus icon or have them removed. We talk more about modules in the follow-up videos, but for now, you should know that each module has plenty of options to adjust its style and match your theme. Now, pages on the other hand are entirely different things. To add a new page, press Create New button. There are plenty of page layouts, but as always, you can customize each one of them the way you see fit. For instance, you can create a contact page with a form for lead capture. Or you can create a blog post for your audience to read. Test what works for you best. That's all for the basic setup of your website. If you want to learn more, see the rest of our videos. If you struggle or any step, reach out to our support. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.